Kentucky Pride Fun and welcome if you are new. Today I am going to be refilling and setting up my coffee bar for the summer. Don't leave me here forever. Don't let me be alone. Just you and me together. Don't let me lose hope. My name is Ruth. On my channel I like to share cleaning and declutter motivation as well as a decoration inspiration. If you like that type of content, I would absolutely love it if you would subscribe. And then once you've clicked the red subscribe button, be sure to also click that little bell that is right next to it so that you don't miss out on any more of my content. This is in participation with a challenge that is being hosted by Secondhand Tracy Ann. And I'll be sure to leave a link to her channel up in the cards at the end of this video and down in the description box so that when you are finished watching my video, you can head on over to her channel and check her out. I'll also be sure to leave a link to the playlist up in the cards at the end of this video and down in the description box so that when you're finished watching my video, you can go and check out everyone else's coffee bars that they are decorating for summer. I did participate in a Tracy's Lemon Challenge for last Sunday, and that was the Ray Dunn Lemon Collection Hunt, and I'll be sure to leave my video of how I DIY'd my Ray Dunn uh, containers for my dog station. I'll leave that video linked up in the cards and down in the description box if you would like to check that out for some lemon and Ray Dunn inspiration. One of the things that Tracy wanted us to have for this challenge was obviously coffee and you saw in my B-roll, my beginning clips of me refilling our coffee and our sugar and our creamer canisters. And I wanted to mention that this is down in our Airbnb. That is where I do all of my coffee stations. And it's just because my husband and I don't drink coffee, but we do have a little coffee bar for our guests in our Airbnb. The second thing that Tracy wanted us to have for this challenge was obviously some lemon, since it's a lemon coffee bar. And so I have the other three of my real lemons. I put three real ones in my Ray Dunn last week, and so I'm just going to place these up here on my coffee bar. Then the third thing that Tracy wanted us to have was obviously a coffee cup and I have several of those for our Airbnb guests. So I'll just take you over to my little coffee cup tree and show you each of the ones that I have on there. Here I'm just going to go ahead and place this one on here. I like to try and keep it as full as possible and I have mostly kept it with the theme of Starbucks mugs that I find at Goodwill. And here is the first one that I have. I think it's just beautiful. And then my mother-in-law actually let me have this one. And then down here it is an obvious Starbucks mug. As well as this long one over here. And then over here is another one that is Starbucks and it has the stripes on it. And then my most recent find I actually shared in my recent cleaning video is this Kentucky one that I found at a thrift store as well and it was originally two dollars or originally it was $16.99 but at the Goodwill or at the thrift store it was two dollars and it was half off day so I only paid a dollar for this Kentucky mug and I think it is just perfect for our Airbnb since we do live in Kentucky 
obviously by my channel name. But I actually found two of those as well as two Cincinnati ones. But they are have been used and so are sitting in the dishwasher ready waiting to be washed. And then I had a couple other little things that I wanted to put on my coffee bar to add that lemon theme and just a little more amenities for our guests. And the first thing are these little uh, lemon drink mixes. I have the lemonade and then I also have the iced tea with lemon. And we do offer water bottles in our mini fridge that is right here. So I'm just going to stick these in my little snack bin back there for the guests if they would like to have these in their water. Don't stick around, no Then I went to Dollar Tree the other day looking for their faux lemons, couldn't find them, but I did find these most adorable lemon napkins. There's only 16 in here, but I thought it'd be super cute and fun addition to our Airbnb since my color theme mainly down here is yellow and gray, and so I thought these would be super fun to put in with my napkins. Never could at Dollar Tree was this most adorable sign that said lemonade right on it. They have several adorable like mason jar signs right now but I thought this would be super cute to put on the door to the entrance of our Airbnb. I still currently have the Easter one up so I think it's about time to switch it to a summer one. Stay tuned for the end because I will be showing some close-up clips of all of the stuff that is on our coffee bar and the door sign as well. I hope that y'all enjoyed watching this and that it gave you some inspiration on how to just add a couple little touches to your coffee bar to bring in that summer feel and summer vibe. Now I will mention as I do go up close to my coffee bar, you may notice there's one thing missing, a coffee pot story to that. You ready? Story time. So you will see that it is just like, I really don't even know what it's called. I found it at Goodwill once because the guests were asking for it and I hadn't actually set it out until a couple weeks ago. But I recently put it up there because we have had our Airbnb for almost three, two years now, almost three years I think. During that time, guess how many coffee pots we've gone through y'all? Five. Five coffee pots. We started off with one that my friend had given to me when she got married. She just had was given so many and she offered me one and I was like, I'll just take one. We don't drink coffee, but you never know when we might need it. Well, I placed it down here. That one broke. I was washing dishes, had it on the dish trainer, fell off. And so we got another one, a really nice red one, brand new, all that stuff. Put it up here and then came down one day and it was reading in our little guest book that we have over here and the guest was like, I'm sorry to say that it was broken or something like that. And she replaced it, so we didn't have to buy that one. She exact same kind, exact same one. It might even be, if you've seen my Airbnb room tour, it might even be in there, I'm not sure. And then that one broke as well. It just cracked. I don't, I don't know what it is with the glass coffee pots, it cracked. So we were like, <laughs> Forget this, we're going to Goodwill. We found one at Goodwill and we used that one for a while and then that one cracked as well. I was drying it one day and I, I guess I was talking to my husband and I was like, I feel like such a klutz. Like I was literally just drying it and it cracked on me. And he's like, well, probably wash them more than normal use just because for the Airbnb, you know, I want to wash it after every use. Whereas on normal people, normally probably don't wash it all that often. I mean, I don't know, I'm not a coffee drinker. Anyway, so that one broke, so we're like, well, let's go back to Goodwill. And we actually found one that was like the stainless steel, it's like, cause that was the issue, was the coffee pot breaking. So we found a stainless steel one at Goodwill, washed it out and everything, come to find out it was leaking. So we still had that one sitting there on the stairs, need to toss it 
And so we currently are without a coffee pot for our guests. We haven't had any complaints. <laughs> um, but obviously we need to get one. So my question for y'all for today is what coffee pot to use? We don't want to do the, um, with like the little cups. We don't want to do that just because we're afraid that, I mean, I would take all the cups, you know, because obviously those are expensive. So we don't want to do that. But our thought is to get a decently priced one at like Walmart or something and then just get a whole bunch of the coffee pots so that when one breaks we can replace it. So my question for y'all is what coffee pot do you use? Just a normal basic coffee pot. We don't want it too complex because we don't want guests, how do I use this? I don't know how to use this. You know, we don't want that. <laughs> so we don't want it too complex. Very simple coffee pot. So what are your recommendations? I want to hear them down in the comments. And now I will show y'all a close-up of the coffee pot. enjoyed my little story time there and my close-up of the coffee bar. If you did, please be sure to leave my video a big thumbs up. If you are new coming over from this challenge, I would love it if you would subscribe and click that little bell because I do have some more videos coming out this week and I wouldn't want you to miss out on any of those. I hope you have a blessed day and I'll see y'all later. Bye!